Hello, my name is Soha Patel. I am from iGift Life. We focus on uh, spreading awareness about organ donation. And today we are having a conversation with Ms. Kavita, uh, who is going to share this, her journey about kidney transplants and she's been through it. So um, welcome, ma'am. Uh, how are you doing today? Thanks, Soha. I'm doing really well. And um, it will be two years for me in February for my kidney transplant. And things have been really splendid in terms of health wise. So thank you. Thank you for inviting me here. That's good. You look so beautiful today. And uh, there yeah. is no way I could say that you've gone through any procedure done. So yeah. good job. <laughs> thank you. If you had seen me like two and a half years back, uh, you wouldn't have seen <laughs> a really huge difference. Yeah. That doesn't matter. <laughs> so, uh, ma'am, um, I'm going to jump right into it. Uh, can you tell me what was your initial reaction uh, mm -hmm. when you got to know that you need to get a transplant done? Mm -hmm. What were your thoughts? See, my situation was a little bit different. You know, I had uh, fallen sick really bad. I had a bad case of TB meningitis and I was ba battling with my life for almost two and a half months. And um, it had an impact on my kidney and I was put on dialysis for some time. And doctors thought that, you know, maybe a few rounds of dialysis would be fine and um, I wouldn't need to be on dialysis after that, you know. I will recover, but uh, it was not meant to be. When I came back home, I fell sick again and I had to be put on dialysis. And then it was decided that, you know, she needs to be in dialysis uh, for good now. And only then I came to know that I will need a kidney transplant. Um, at that point, it didn't, uh, I don't remember being crushed or anything like that because I was already battling with so many health issues. So it was just like, okay, one more thing. So <laughs> it was not something that, you know, was very difficult for me at that point of time. If I was a well and, you know, like other people who just come to know their others that, you know, they have to be, have a transplant and all that. But I didn't have that reaction. Also, it was just like, okay, I have to get a transplant. That's it. How was your family's reaction? Family was definitely shocked that, you know, uh, they had opened a lot of hopes that I wouldn't need to be on dialysis. And then I was asked to have a kidney transplant. It was a lot because already I was unwell for like three, four months and suddenly one more thing pops up for them. So it was very difficult for them to, you know, accept that I am going to need a, a kidney transplant. It was much harder for them than me. Yeah, obviously, they have to stay stronger for you. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's great. So tell me more, tell me in detail uh, about your whole procedure, your whole experience. Yeah, uh, my kidney transplant experience has been phenomenal because uh, it has been, as I said, it will be two years in Feb. And uh, I can't tell you how my life has changed drastically after, uh, you know, having a transplant. I was one of the lucky few who got a trans transplant maybe just after a year. There are people who are on dialysis for like six years, seven years. I know a person who is there on dialysis for 17 years. And it's a total hell to go to a dialysis center, to do it twice a week. And then there are a lot of repercussions also because dialysis just add days to your life but you hardly have any life to live because you are so much into that and then there are a lot of dietary restrictions you can't drink water also so there is a lot of things that are involved being a kidney patient it is not one of, it is not the easiest <laughs> diseases to have so after a year after i had my transplant and plus because of the bad case of TB meningitis, I already had a lot of issues. I had mobility issues. I couldn't walk. There were lots of things that were going on. But after I had my transplant, the things just improved, I mean, drastically. I think maybe after a month and a half, I could really feel the difference. I could eat properly. I could drink water and I started uh, having, uh, building some strength, you know, which helped me later on to walk. It took me around six months to be, you know, uh, to walk on my own, but I did it. And it was only possible because uh, I had that kidney transplant. So in terms of health wise, um, kidney transplant just, you know, is like godsend. I mean, it's the most amazing gift my brother could have given me. He donated the kidney to me. So it's, it's really wow. great. Yeah. 
yeah. your relationship with your brother must be uh, on another level after oh this whole thing. obviously yeah 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 it's How's like he doing? Uh, yeah he is doing fantastic uh, i mean he we always i mean we are three siblings my sister my brother and uh, me and we had that a very close bond because of which you know i got my kidney from him but my sister told me if his doesn't match i will give you so in terms of kidney donors i didn't have that issue but uh, <laughs> thankfully his match and uh, we went ahead with him only so yes of course uh, you know obviously the things improve when somebody does such a great uh, you know thing for you so yes uh, my relationship with my brother is at uh, another level after this yeah that's really cool ma'am mm-hmm. so ma'am um, when uh, you were going through this process when you realized you you're going to be going through this process uh did you have enough information about it yes from where did you get it yeah so um i am in pune and uh, i was taking my treatment from jahangir hospital here and uh, they have a good transplant coordination team and they walked us through uh, everything that needed to be done so um, i was not involved into this but since i was unwell but it was my brother who did everything al- along with my husband so they were the ones who kind of did all the procedures and uh, my doctor along with our transplant coordinator uh, helped us you know what we should so there are a lot of medical tests that we need to do there are a lot of legal formalities you have to appear for an interview uh, in front of medical uh, officers in pune and uh, without their approval you can't go ahead so all those things and we were like tutored what to say what not to say how to appear for the interview so we got really good information uh, from our uh, transplant coordinator at the hospital so yes we had access and thankfully there is always google so uh, yeah. we got some information on google also yeah okay so ma'am um, that's great that you had everything that you needed i'm mm. very happy it worked out for you uh mm. but you know uh, in india people are still very uh, apprehensive about uh, getting an organ transplant you know because th- there are people who don't have enough information you know and yes, there are lots true. of myths lots of what do you think you can do about it what is your opinion see it is very hard to change religious beliefs okay but uh, maybe awareness is going to make a huge difference you know maybe a person who is thinking uh, for religious reason i can't donate uh, my organ and everything but the same person when it comes to his child and if he has to give organ he will okay so it is about the experiences and it is about the awareness of you know how they could uh, like my brother has donated him his kidney to me and his life has changed so probably mm-hmm. it is one of the best experience you know yeah. that you know ki uh, in india we are always trying to you know punya kamane ka koshish karte hai and now my brother didn't do anything i mean he was not into all these things and you know suddenly he donated kidney to me and when people come to know ki he has done something like that a lot of people come say you know are aapne to bahut punya ka kaam kiya hai aapko bahut punya milega so which is also a great way to yeah, you know yeah. <laughs> पुण्य कमाने का बहुत अच्छा तरीका है एंड अ लॉट ऑफ एंड सडनली ही सेज यू नो आई वेंट देयर यू नो दे सेट समथिंग अबाउट मी लाइक दैट आई वाज शॉक्ड सो so uh, maybe this is one of the probably you could do interview with him or some other donors how they have changed life and today morning i also read a very interesting uh, news item about anju bobby george in the paper she is a athlete and uh, she uh, disclosed today morning uh, in the paper that you know she has only one kidney she was born with one kidney and she has played and i mean she had some uh, physical limitations because of it but it did not stop her to achieve her dreams okay so she wow. took a lot of uh, guidance from she can't take pain killer she can't take supplements but she wanted to achieve her uh, sports ambition and she did i think it's very commendable story and i think maybe stories like her or my brother or other donors i think that will create a lot of awareness so i think awareness is the key Yes, so we should do exactly. more of such me yeah Uh, yeah we are planning to uh, interview uh, organ donors as well yeah. so uh, but this is specially for people who want to go through this process but are scared so you yeah. know just to to 
trying to give the and right you know, information. Uh, right by information. grace of God, or I mean, uh, see, you get two kidneys, okay, and uh, you can survive very well with one kidney. Similarly, for liver, you can, you know, donate a part of your and it regrows. So I think uh, it is, you know, it has been built so our bodies are built so beautifully. I think we should really uh, take advantage of it, and you can donate uh, your organs. Yeah. That yeah, that we can. So, um, thank you, ma'am. Thank you so much for yeah. sharing your story. Yeah. And uh, is there anything more you would like to add? Yes, please. Yes. 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 You know, uh, my story is uh, very you know uh, interesting for re reading. And I have created a blog called Miracle Moments, and uh, wow. you know it has been received really well. I've shared it with my friends, and it has got a lot of views on WordPress. So I'm uh, requesting your viewers to go through yes, uh, Miracle Moments uh, on the uh, I mean on the internet, and you can read my entire story, which is about how I fell sick, how I you know what were my trials as my a kidney patient. what goes into a transplant what it feels like being on a dialysis so it's a complete walk through of uh, being a kidney patient from you know being in dialysis to a transplant person so it will be something really helpful for people who are going through the problem for sure and that's really cool of you to be able to help people you know uh, so uh, like like with so many so much of details because people usually get really overwhelmed after their yes. operation and the fact that you have taken such a nice step to help people out there you know so good job <laughs> thank you thank you soha for inviting me yeah that's mm -hmm. it thank you so much for talking to us and yeah. let's hope people get in inspired to this yeah. okay thank you ma'am